The IPC's president, Dr. Pandeleni Itula, said for businesses to flourish and create employment, taxes need to be lowered, adding that the current rates prevent business owners from expanding and investing. Why do we have unemployment in this country? Because we've got no businesses to employ people. Why don't we have businesses to employ people? Because the tax in this country is high up here at 3132. So if the tax is up there, no business wants to expand, no business wants to invest in a country where your money that you are working hard for is being taken away into the tax coffers. He said an IPC-led government will give small businesses a chance to thrive before they need to pay their dues. The only way to give jobs is to create a business environment conducive to expanding the businesses. So we are going to reduce the tax regime to 22. And that means that, and that, means that the business community will be able to invest in their businesses, expand and get bigger, and then they will employ more people. The more people there are employed, the more the hunger will be reduced, the more the poverty will disappear. And if we make sure that the small businesses are not taxed until they get profit above two million, then we will allow those businesses to grow and employ more people and expand so that the branches can actually spread beyond Katima Munilo so that we have got more people employed around the whole country. Dr. Itula promised to improve on decentralization noting that the Zambezi region relies heavily on other towns and regions with regard to key services. We have no adequate hospitals in this country. Why do we have people that is transferred from Katima Mulilo 12 hours to Windu and some guy between Katima and Rundu? These are the evils that was created over 34 years by this government. He also announced that he will visit various villages in the Zambezi region where he will explain the party's manifesto to residents over the next few days. The party also welcomed 158 new members during the rally. Juliet's Veso NBC News, Katima Mulilo.